Okay, so let's go ahead and now we kind of start working on materials applying and we have a high field um, terrain right here on the back. So what I want to do, it is now add some of those um, beautiful maps we're creating like snow, just overlay maybe even deposits over this mountain. So we start adding all these textures, base it. Um, the best way to do it is by using the image projections on this and let's do this way as a test so i just want to show how it will reposition kind of give you also understanding we'll go to create and we'll go to create shader and actually we're going to create a um, surface shader okay right here so we'll create it first surface layer you'll notice right here have a mask shader this is what I want to use to control um, overlay. And I'm just for now just going to override and remove the stones just for now so we can preview. Also, yeah, let's go ahead and enable color. So I'm going to enable shaders so we can preview how it's layout in uh, this terrain. So next we'll go to add. Okay, let's go over here, create shader. Actually, no, let me bring this up so we can see a little bit better. And here are things we have it in a color shader. Okay, we have it the image map shader. So this is what we want to use. At this point, we can go and select. And one which I was selecting this one, it's charged the image, which is use the um snow but before I apply this I want to apply one test so I created one here I'll copy it's just simple mask so let's go ahead open we'll take our image and connecting you notice it's kind of disappear on this case we need to rework some properties inside you notice right here it says what is my image size and it says one on one. So let's go modify this. Be sure we have the right size set. Next, I want to position to the center and projection type, let's say plan Y. So right here, you notice now we start having this displayed. Position to the center, so we know zero, zero. And now we have it also are specified. Um, notice we have a black kind of middle. So I want invert. So we'll have a circle inside kind of shrink or you can actually go invert after it's depend how you want to do. At this point I want to position just around mountain. The best way to do of course it will go to terrain. Highlight field right here. We'll go click copy coordinates and we can just paste those coordinates so that our position will be right here on top of the mountain. Let me go move it and I kind of can preview. Again, this is just example. So you can see we position by placing it. At this time we're gonna go and replace this with our image snow one. So I'm going place it's kind of disappear because we need to change a few things. One, I want to go apply to true size, 048, position in center, right here. Okay, next let's go to the colors. And one thing, the gamma, I don't know, apply to this because this is just simple alpha, so I will go set all the way to one. You notice right here we start having kind of appearing because we don't want to apply gamma on the, this image, it's just on the mask for us, for the colors. So next, we don't need any displacement. And we can apply also, if you have any alpha, you can apply as alpha and create additional transparency to this. But in this case, it's not necessary, I mean, because we, it's, we're using as a mask, and as a mask, it will apply that way already. Okay, remember, if you need it, um, in this case, okay, right here, apply as a mask, 
you can um, invert the mask if you need it if you think it does not apply properly but I think it's set right at this point we can kind of preview you can see right here we have it on a mask I want now set all the way white disable my test color so it's become now just a black and white well it's a white for the snow we can go inside and probably just modify three things we can enable luminosity a little bit on the snow again it's a little bit tricky so it's created this um kind of snowishly a little bit look with luminosity so it's glowing like light reflection this is okay for now again i will probably modify this go to camera let's go to render and preview our render you can see right here we have a slightly the snow maybe need pop up higher contrast just a little bit wider right here so let me stop rendering this point and again we can I would say move out and preview again sometimes this mask originally was a little bit dark probably I would go inside the Photoshop right now open and you can see why do we have some snow right here in this area so I probably want to open and apply maybe pop up contrast a little bit higher so that our mask will be a little bit better looking Okay, and you can see it's quite a bit um, dark, so we can just maybe try to press Control L, bring levels, just bring a little bit more almost to the extreme on the snow coverage. Okay, let's go ahead, and I'm going to just set this as a save as. TFF as a snow. Okay, after this, we can go inside the image. And it's kind of easy now to replace. So we'll go open a file. And right here, I have my snow. So let me go ahead and open this. You notice how much it is brighter. Actually, also look on this size, how it's created. So it's a little bit better to preview on the map. and even we applied this resolution was saved by 2000 but in this case we work more with the not pixel size we work with the size of the terrain so we want to actually switch this to the 8000 by 8000 and in this case we have it a little bit more accurate preview as well you notice we have a little bit um, apply snow so let's go ahead move around just to preview see how it's look okay the altitude may be a little bit low for the apply for the snow right in this area and we can blend those edges but let me see the camera because I know the camera will obstruct and this is actually maybe look even better with the snow so low so it's all up to creative point okay right here I think that our alpha actually need be invert the map itself so let's do that and we can convert this multiple ways probably the easiest way to do is just go inside and press Control I to in your Photoshop and convert this way it's probably the fastest and easiest way to do as well you can modify and look on a map a little bit better so I'll do this way and just resave this map okay I'll go open and just reopen map again and let's go render you can see we have a nice beautiful snow mountains with a snow kind of distribution on the peaks again 
I pop up the contrast you can um, again work a little bit more with map idea of this to showing you how we can take the maps that we're generating modify them and apply to our mountains okay so next um, I'm start working on some add grass to probably some of these areas blend together and working on uh, populations with the plants